So welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm currently with Carrie, starting the weekly vlog off like old times. Had a sort of productive day. Yeah, we did like at the film and stuff that we wanted to do, but we weren't so good with the other like the editing admin part, editing but... stuff. But it's better than nothing. Carrie just walked me to the station. Boyfriend duty. <laughs> I'm just about to head off to a new look event for the new Gemma Collins collection. I'm currently wearing just a new look outfit, not Gemma Collins. It's like this little like Are green. No. Just a little like green dress of like floral print. It's a little bit different from what I usually go for, but I've paired it with like some crazy chunky, chunky heels. What well, green is this? Well. Lime like satin. Sat lime satin. Sort of neon lime satin. <laughs> neon lime satin. It's definitely got a bit of neon. Cause... With the gorgeous, gorgeous streets of London. Beautiful. Yeah, and Carrie? Can you smell that smell? It smells so good. It smells like curry. Cut. Yeah. Me like, like biryani. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that does smell good. I think it might be that thing. The, oh, the truck. Yeah, I'm currently just waiting for an Uber because I'm too scared to go on the tube with my heels because I feel like I'm either going to fly onto the track. So I've arrived on Mockholm Street in Belgravia and I'm here at Pantechnicon which is where the New Look X Gemma Collins event is. Um, so I'm going to head to the roof garden. I'll figure out my way because it looks like such a huge building but I think I might be going through this way I believe. I'm just nervous because I never usually go to stuff like this on my own so <sighs> makes my anxiety a little bit. Hi, I'm not gonna lie. Um, where are we going to? Rooftop bar, floor three. How do we get there? Honestly, the vibes are so cool. Like there's literally like pink and orange everywhere and I'm like really obsessed with that right now. And it's all like holiday and cocktail themed. It's literally so cool and the drinks are really good. The juicy is here. The juicy is here. And what's the other one? Beetroot. Beetroot? Yeah, it looks quite scary. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, wow. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, they're good. You know, it's such a hard market, the plus size market. And, you know, no one's really ever giving love, attention, and care. And for the first time, I was working with a team that I felt was so behind me and so behind the collection. So I just want to say you all look amazing tonight. And do you know what? What is so good about this collection is that it's totally inclusive and everyone in this world needs to be accepted. And we, need to be accepted. we do not want any negativity in our lives. It's all about positivity and do you know what? We were stuck in a pandemic for two years. I ban loungewear for the rest of any of your lives. So dress up, drink up and enjoy the night, guys. Hello people, I look absolutely ratchet. I feel like I've been really shit at vlogging today, but that will change for the rest of the week, I promise. Um, I am just about to get unready because my makeup is literally all over my face. I want to take my jewellery off and just get into bed and play Sudoku. <laughs> What's wrong with me? My feet did kill by the end of the night if I was in like those chunky platforms. They're generally really, really comfy shoes. I think I just wore them for like way too long, but the venue was really gorgeous. So if you're ever in that area or you're looking for somewhere to go for like a nice rooftop in London, I would definitely recommend that Pantechnicon. It also has like cafes and restaurants on different levels and I think even shops on the bottom floor. I feel like it'd be really cool for like a drinks night or like a work, work drinks or you know, date night or something. It just I feel like it ticks a lot of boxes. Um, and it was really lovely to see some faces there that I'd like been following on Instagram for a long time and either hadn't seen in ages or at all in real life. Cause that's really weird that since um, the pandemic's obviously not fully gone, but like all of the restrictions have gone and everything. So uh, all of like the social like work events with my job like have come back into full force and I'm finally seeing people that I've been speaking to for years online and getting to interact with them in person, which is so weird. Like it's such a weird concept. Yeah, I had a really good evening. It was nice to see the GCA in real life. Like honestly, I quote her like quite often. So it was very weird to like see her and be like, oh, 
that's the woman I had the quote or reference memes about 24-7. Um, and her collection is literally just full of like fun, bright, colourful. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I did a little reel that actually went up tonight where I showcased two of the jumpsuits in the collection. There's like a polka dot one and then this really nice like retro-y, like pink, bluey swirl one, which is my favourite. Um, I actually thought I'd prefer the, them the other way around when, before they arrived and then when I put them on I was like oh my god I actually really like the crazy patterned one and she was actually wearing that one tonight but yeah such a fun collection and it's super inclusive obviously and they're one of the few brands of like very size inclusive that are like quite big in the UK I feel like so yeah big up new look I'm actually wearing this dress that I'm wearing they let me pick out in advance to wear it's like this little green <laughs> This little green number, I feel like you just saw my underwear. Yeah, and overall, very lovely night. To finish my skincare routine, hop into bed, and tomorrow I've literally got a full day of podcast recordings. I've got two in-person ones um, first, and then the rest are all on Zoom, thankfully. So I can rest my little feet inside, but I've got obviously two guests coming over, so I need to make sure the flat's all nice and tidy in the morning, that it's all fresh and ready to go. I need to really get some milk in, actually, so I can make everyone teas and coffees if they require them. I feel like I'm not a very good host. See you in the morning. I understand what you're saying. I think as a generation, we're a lot more aware. Mm -hmm. And because we've been, I'm not saying they didn't go through their struggles, because no. obviously they did, mm -hmm. but I think that as a generation, we struggle more with these things now, don't we? So and we're much more aware of them now. So because we've gone through the experiences ourselves, we can then pass that down to our children to be like, don't obsessively count calories. Like, mm -hmm. love your body, love your life. Like, calories are not the be and end all. Hello guys, so I have had a really, really busy morning. I had the lovely Shannon Futcher over where we talked a lot about her PCOS and her weight loss and her self-love journey. It was really, really interesting. Super insightful. She was very good at like explaining the whole PCOS thing. So if you feel like you have it or you're currently trying to navigate or fight for a diagnosis it was it's a really helpful episode so i'm excited for that to air i had emily come over she's currently in london like bless her for the week and um, with her boyfriend for her birthday and she was like i'll pop in and do a podcast episode so i honestly appreciate her time so so much she came on and talked about her hidden disability and how it affects her life so yeah that was super insightful as well i can't wait for you to hear them now i'm just about to hop on a zoom call for i've got two more episodes but these are both on zoom one is with rachel and she's talking about her chronic illness and how it's affected her life and everything so i'm looking forward to hear, hearing her story and then i've got an anonymous guest coming on to talk about panic attacks something that maybe many people who are listening to this might have suffered through or experienced once in their life so looking forward to insightful conversations I'm ready to take on the day and then i'm hopefully going to have some time to do some editing before me and aiden head out this evening we're going to brixton which i haven't been to in a while even though we live so close and we're going to the five guys because they've got a new collaboration with reese's peanut butter cups and having like an iconic milkshake so i'm excited to try that can't lie I'm just made myself a nice coffee we use these reusable ice cubes so it doesn't have the same kind of clinking effect but means we're is it better i don't know but it's good good i've got the minor figures oat milk and it's just elite i made a get ear order and they delivered me more milk than i asked for because they they've brought the wrong one but it's basically just like the organic version so stupid but i don't know why i'm telling you this have a fab day so me and aid have come to five guys in brixton we had a nice little walk this is where we are the staff in here let me say let me say the staff in here are really really lovely so definitely come here if you're looking for a nice five guys and a good experience this is actually my first ever five guys to be fair i have had the milkshakes before so this is the new peanut butter reese's peanut butter cup milkshake honestly unreal it's not too much as well it's like not too peanutty and me and Aiden are sharing some Cajun fries, which are in here. They look absolutely phenomenal. I've gone for the cheeseburger with onions, lettuce, grilled onions, and fresh onions, I think I've got in there. Bit of both. Um, I'm very excited to try it. So this is the burger that I've gone for. Aiden's got his over there. We, it looks quite similar, but Aiden's got like a lot more stuff in here, like jalapenos and hot sauce and stuff. And then these fries just look so good. Yum. Okay, we're gonna dig in. How much would you rate our five guys out of 10? Uh, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10, solid. I actually really like that milkshake. I, like I said, when we were in there, I don't know if you heard me, because Ariana was busting my ears open. The milkshake was not as intense as I thought it was gonna be, which was quite nice, because it wasn't like too overpowering, but that was my first five guys, and I really rated it, and I'd probably say it was a nine as well as Aiden. Anything I would, ch I don't know what I would change, actually. What would you change to make it a 10? Just, like, make the burger slightly more juicy, like, yeah. Fair enough. But yeah, thank you very much to Five Guys for letting us come and try out the burgs. 
just come back and we've got a few parcels so i'm gonna show you what i got inside so i've got some stuff from gossard these are from there's a new what's the range called the glossies lace so i got the yellow version because i felt like i needed some pops of color for summer i've got a yellow set it's actually so stunning so i've gone for like the thong style and the like lace mesh bra and then i think it's the same style actually in the like cobalt blue color and same thong style undies and the like lacy mesh bra honestly stunning really happy with those so i've got the maid augusta box i'm gonna unbox and see what's inside so the theme of this month's box is barbecue and garden party which sounds just up my street i'm not gonna look at that because i don't want it to ruin it so we've got some crisps pea pods cheddar and onion i was saying to Aidan, i actually really want to do a picnic in the like park near us so i think we're gonna do that at some point soon so we can keep these goodies for that so those chips look get uh, chips those crisps look really good park break sourdough that's going to be delicious we can have these for like breakfast or something or lunch maybe i don't know but they look really good they're from a brand called slow cars italian herbs flavor so some like little crackers why is this not focusing we've got a oh my god <laughs> we've got got a mini bottle of echo falls which i'm very happy about a little mini merlot bottle if you are vegan and you're looking for some good chalky in your life love raw is literally one of my faves and they've come out with this salted caramel cream wafer bar i'm pretty sure this is new because i haven't seen this before maybe i've just been under a rock um, but they also do they just basically taste like kinder bueno but vegan it's fucking in insane we've also got some peppermint cbd peppermint gum from the sweet botanist dun 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 some new york deli vip nuts hot chili a nice little snack good for picnics as well What's this mushroom ketchup very odd never heard of that in my life but might be interesting to try i'm not really sure what it suggests to use it with secret to success add two tablespoons per 450 grams of meat to the fillings of steak and kidney pies and puddings we've got some vegan marshmallows from i don't know what this brand's called free from fellows oh they look really sweet maybe we can make some like cute hot chocolates or something with them then we've got some bullseye steakhouse barbecue sauce some pad thai slim noodles and then finally to top it off we've got a turtle juice tropical lemonade from gunner which i literally want to gulp now because it's so hot it's literally 26 or 27 degrees oh yeah i keep forgetting that it's later than it is but it looks so bright outside i've got the sun setting in the distance you might be able to see it. Yeah, thanks very much, Augusta. That's a very good box. I'm excited to try some of these bits out. Finally, I had a shower this evening. I basically like to organise my life the day beforehand because otherwise I sit in bed and like ponder like all the things I have to do the next day. So I always make sure my like, to-do list is all ready to go for the next day. Just because it's good for my mental health. But yeah, I think me and Aiden are gonna go chill in bed before we go to sleep and watch the new Derry Girls. I'm very excited. It's one of my favourite like light-hearted series to watch. Um, and also i don't think i've recommended this yet me and aiden watched this series called severance and it's insane like i really want anyone listening who hasn't watched it to watch it and so we can talk about it because it's probably one of my favorite series i've ever ever watched it's all about basically the people in it get a chip in their head so that they, it separates their personal life from their work life and they don't know what their inside person is like or what their outside outside person is like when they're at work or at home it's honestly just such a fucking interesting one and i'm literally dying for a season two like a, me and aiden were saying we want them to film it like in a week so we can watch it someone please watch it scary things are happening it is wednesday and i have just done two podcast recordings grabbed some lunch um we had a hello fresh meal it's actually really good it's like a szechuan burger just about to put an outfit on and head to um a place called pump house which is like east central i'm just about to get an uber because i'm going for i don't even know if i'm allowed to say this right yet i'm doing a shoot for nike which is just bizarre to me like i don't know why they've picked me i'm really confused about it i don't think I ever thought I'd be able to do something like this. I think particularly because of my like body shape and size, it's not very, it's not very inclusive growing up. So I feel like I'm an imposter and I shouldn't be going to something like this. However, I am, 
it's actually happening. I thought it was a joke, a sick joke at first, but yeah, I'm really, really grateful and I can't believe it's happening. But today I'm going for a fitting, which I don't know if that's like a normal thing for people who do like model shoots regularly or like in the modeling industry to have like fittings pre before the actual shoot because my shoot is next Monday and it's obviously Wednesday today. So yeah, I'm going to go to the fitting. I might vlog some stuff if I feel comfortable to, but I'm kind of shitting myself at the moment. So yeah, we shall see. So just had the fitting guys, you will have just seen some of the looks that we're doing. I think we're only doing like one casual and then one active wear, but we tried loads of different things just to see what would look good and then they take photos of me. I've never done anything like this before, so I thought I'd explain it in case anyone's interested. So they took photos of me and all the like casual and active wear stuff. And then they're gonna like put all the photos of me with all the other girls that I'm shooting with um, all together. But I'm actually quite scared. They were saying there's like gonna be like two footballers, I think, and then one TikToker, and then there's me. <laughs> oh god, I feel like so out of my comfort zone. But I'm very excited to do something a bit different on Monday. And yeah, it's just like a cool new experience doing something like a bit more like professional modeling style stuff. Oh, so weird. I am now gonna head and try and get an Uber back to mine so I can get ready for the mental health talk panel that's happening tonight it's gonna be a good day i think so i am on the way to the station i'm currently in like this bright green dress i came back from the, the night fitting and i had to like have a quick oh we're not focused i had to have a quick change do my makeup pop something on um, and i'm in like my bright orange sliders bright orange glasses and we're going to carnaby street to an event with nietzsche i think it's called i could be pronouncing this so wrong but it's n-i-double-c-e -E, to their flagship store because they're holding a mental health panel talk for mental health awareness week it's all about the theme of loneliness so i'm very excited to listen and take some info in and i'll let you guys know how good it is afterwards um i think there's going to be like four guest speakers Will you be the one to break me out of this i want you all to myself In those well, I mean, I guess, like, we're coming out of the pandemic, that kind of forced everyone to be alone, really. So, you know, I always call myself the popular alone. Yeah. Yeah, because, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I know a lot of people, I'm in a lot of ventures, but sometimes it's, it's good to be alone, to get your headspace. But I think during lockdown, social media didn't help me, you know, because I know some people say social media is negative and things like that. But it helped me because I, I got to kind of connect with more people, reach out to people, network a lot more and more effectively because you're focused, sitting there kind of um, having to have that conversation about trying to do with really things. Um, so for me, it was it, it worked out okay. Um, back from the Nietzsche event and it was honestly so lovely. So they're all just doing like really amazing for themselves. So very well established people giving advice on mental health within the creative industry. So yes, there was like a bit of a perspective from the social media industry. Oh god, there's a chaos going outside. Social media industry, the radio industry and the film industry. So it was really interesting seeing all their different perspectives on loneliness, which is the theme of the Mental Health Awareness Week. So some of them were saying they see loneliness as a good thing, which was a very interesting perspective because loneliness has like a negative connotation and they think that like being lonely and and being like happy and independent in your own um, company is like a positive thing and shouldn't be seen as negative. But obviously then they also touched on like the loneliness that comes with working for yourself or like being on different hours to your friends in other industries or people who are in like a um, normalized nine to five job. And um, Franklin actually gave quite a lot of like good advice he was talking about like failure being feedback and how he never sees it failure as being like a loss he always views it as feedback and how he can tweak what he was doing to make himself better which i thought was a really like simple but sweet um quote um well, he also said something else that was really insightful that I've, has just gone out of my brain well, i was speaking to someone after the event um in there about like loneliness and feeling like how everyone is so uncomfortable to talk about loneliness especially when they're surrounded by like a good support network and i thought that was an interesting perspective feeling lonely even though you're surrounded by good people um and not feeling comfortable like talking to those people about it because they'll be like what i'm literally here like how do you feel lonely but it's all like a mental mindset and um, that you have to get out of so yeah i thought it was very interesting to talk about and just something nice to do in the evening rather than like drinking i don't know i just feel like recently every time i drink it makes my anxiety really high the next day and really really low energy so it's nice to actually go to something in the evening that doesn't well there was drinks there but i decided to get a san pellegrino <laughs> instead um 
and just have a nice mental health chat. I feel like it's good. It's like therapy in itself. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go now, have a nice chill evening with Aiden and I'll catch you tomorrow. I know I said I'd um, see you in the morning, but um, me and Aiden have just come out here just to get some air and honestly, the lightning is fucking mental and I wanted to try and capture some of it. It was like lighting the whole of the sky, like in the distance. I bet there's gonna be fucking no lightning now that I've got my camera out. But I want you to see. Good morning, good morning. Hello, have I actually mentioned this before? Um, maybe I have in another vlog, but this stuff is literally the best. It's by Curel, it's their deep moisture spray. I'm not wearing any makeup until a little bit later on today, so just a nice little refresh from that spray on the skin. I'm just heading out for a like brunch breakfast meeting with my manage manager. She's in London today, she's actually getting a tattoo later, so thought it would be nice to go speak to her. And um, we're going to Timmy Green, which is one of my favorite like brunch places in Victoria. I definitely recommend it. They do really good like hot and cold drinks as well. But yeah, their brunch menu is delightful. Uh, I'm not a massive fan anymore, but like Halloumi fries, they did re do really good ones of those if you like them. Um, and then they also do like pancakes, avocado on toast, like all of the classic brunch things, but they're really, really good. So yeah, if you're looking for somewhere good to go in Victoria, especially because there's like the theaters and stuff around the area. So if you're going for like a, matinee show pallet getting ready and then i'm gonna walk to the station got my earphones in probably gonna listen to heathers for the five thousandth time of the week got these green trousers on from naked fashion this little like limey boob tube is from monkey and then this white oversized shirt is also monkey sort of doesn't go but i also don't really care anymore i feel like it's not that deep it's another beautiful day in london i'm excited to go for brunch then come back and just get cracking with work before this evening for pole oh god i've got stuff down there oh no she's still in my head my head remember when we first met first met yeah i'm cursed i'm blessed i'm blessed get up right so i am now walking back from brunch with mel even better than i remembered like oh i highly recommend getting the smashed avo with poached eggs on toast if you go there i know it's basic but it's delicious i actually love it so much like one day i will be living in one of these houses with all these gorgeous like flowers and trees one day one day yeah that's my goal anyway i've been thinking this morning what's something that i would do in my life if i was was not scared and then i'm trying to think of what, what that would be for me so please comment down below what you would do if you were to if you weren't scared i've literally put it on my instagram because i've been having some like deep thoughts about it and a load of people are saying like they'd quit their job they'd move abroad they'd start a new business but yes yeah, really made me think i don't know why just the question popped into my head and i've just not stopped thinking about it all morning really hot i should not have wore Skip forward a few days later, it will look like I've just stayed in London the whole time, but I went back this weekend for a really gorgeous like family weekend. We went back to Aiden's on Saturday because it was his nephew's birthday and then sunday today we were at my cousin's house for his kids seventh birthday so i saw my family today so it's been really nice like family weekend seeing everyone seeing people i haven't literally seen in years so yeah it was really lovely i've had like a lot of nice like picky bits nibbles barbecue food all the good vibes now we're back in the flat i was gonna end the vlog but i did want to open this first so this is from a brand called snack surprise so they make boxes um from different like countries and send them across so this one from what i believe is a little spanish snack surprise I guess everything in here it probably oh Oh, that's quite cool. It has like a little educational double spread. And apparently there's a mini box, an original box, and a premium box. First of all, we've got these conchitas ketchup. And from what this looks like, it looks like little like crisps. Sort of like skips in a way, I feel like. But um, ketchup flavoured, which I think I'm going to really like because I love stuff like that. And then we've also got some fried egg chips. Fried egg tasting chips. The Pink Panther like roll thing very interesting um then we've got some finny cinema mix sweets looks like there's some like fried eggs and strawberries and things in there bocca bits 
don't know what flavour these are. They sort of just look cheesy, to be honest. But, um, then we've got a drink here, which looks very refreshing. I love a drink abroad because I feel like they put a lot more, like, flavour into their drink. I don't know. So we've got this to try, and it looks like a, an orange drink. I don't know if it's, like, sparkling or still. We've got loads of these little, like, red sweets. I'm not sure what these are. Like, hard-boiled sweets. It's what it feels like. And then we've got some chocolates in here. So, huesito. Oh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, chocolatina la casita looks like a milky like chocolate with smarties or like m&m style like crispy chocolates inside and um, we've got these little like biscuit things which i actually recognize i feel like aiden's italian grandparents have these in their house potentially but they're like hard like biscuit things i feel like they sell them in bakeries here as well to be honest and then these are sparks fizz nuggets it's a little like fizzy potentially popping candy sort of vibes but yeah how fun, what a fun idea. Thank you very much for watching another weekly vlog. I really appreciate it. Um, the podcast intro l went live today, so I'm excited to have that up and running. And by the time you see this, we'll probably have a couple of episodes all live and raring to go. So go listen to my new podcast if you haven't already. I'm so excited to hear your feedback and what I can do to improve. Obviously, don't expect the best premium quality with the best interviewer possible because that's obviously not me. I need to learn myself, but I appreciate any constructive criticism that isn't mean. And I hope you all have a beautiful day, evening, week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Love ya. Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain. Why don't you sing along, my friend, for it's our last